All right, so today I want to talk about how you can take a bunch of images and create thumbnails of those images and put them on an HTML5 canvas. I've got here three different images that I've tiled onto a canvas. So this is an HTML canvas element, and I've taken these three pictures. They're different sized pictures. And with those images, I've taken a part of each image that's the same aspect ratio, and I've pasted it onto the canvas. So I've stuck in sequence, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, put the images as thumbnails, so smaller versions of the original image. So this works with a few things. It works with image elements, it works with canvas, and it works with understanding positioning of elements on the canvas. If we look in the HTML here, there's my canvas element, and then I've got the paragraphs with the images. These are here purely to demonstrate that those are the three images that we're going to put on there. These are not actually used in the code anywhere. In my code, uh, creating a bunch of global variables for dealing with the canvas, the context, and then I've got images that I'm going to create. So instead of relying on ones that are in the HTML, I wanted to show that I could load images without putting them onto the page. So typical for starting off with Canvas, we have our Canvas, we've got our context, the two-dimensional context from that. I'm setting the width and height properties of the Canvas element to 1200 by 600 pixels. I chose those numbers just so it's evenly divisible. Four columns, three rows. So a total of 12 little areas where the images, where the thumbnails are going to go. Now, these numbers, this is the width and height property. This is not the style property. In my CSS, if I come up here, you can see my canvas, the width is being set to 90%, the height is auto. This will maintain the aspect ratio, but this is gonna fill up the screen. I'm using display flex to center it on the screen. And then the width of my canvas, regardless of how big the canvas is, it's always gonna be 90%. The canvas is gonna fill 90% of my page. So this does not affect anything that we do with images and loading things in the canvas. It is simply for display purposes. These numbers right here, this is how we calculate how big things are. This is how we calculate the number of pixels in the canvas. This is how we calculate where we place things on the canvas. These dimensions right here. All right, so for the images that I'm gonna load, I create three image elements. I do not add them to the page at all. I set their source equal to the three images, the same three source images as are in the HTML image tags. And I'm adding load listeners. All three of them, I'm gonna call the same function, track loads. So I'm tracking the loading of each, all three of these. Each time one of them is loaded, this function gets called. I create an object and I push that into an array called images. This is a global array, so I can use it in my next function. That's my add thumbnails function. So I wait until I have three things inside of this array. All three things are going to be an object. The object, I could just put one thing. I could just put the image elements, but I wanted to separate it just to show what I was doing with it here. ev.target is the image element. Natural width and height those are the original height and width properties of an image. So images, they've got a width, they've got a height. That's how big you're making it on the page. They also have a natural width. The natural width is the original file that's being loaded by your web page. How many pixels wide and tall was it? My height, I'm going to multiply that by 0.75. That, that is going to give me a width and height value that I'm going to use to extract part of that image. So my source width and source height. I'm gonna take the original value of the width and then I wanna take 75% of the height. That way, the aspect ratio is gonna be four to three and I'm gonna get the right size image for each one of these things that I'm putting on the page. EV.target, that is the image element that we create right here. So image one, two, and three, those are gonna be what's placed here. Okay, add thumbnails. This is where we do the work of actually placing it on the canvas. I've got two loops, nested four loops, one for the rows, 
one for the columns. So when the row is zero, we loop four times inside. So the position is going to be zero, zero. That's going to be my first row value is zero. My second row value will be 200. My third one will be 400. So think of this as the Y positioning. The first row, the top of it is at zero pixels. The second row, the top of it's at 200. The third row, the top of it's at 400. For the columns, this is the X position. 0, 300, 600, 900. So that's going to be creating the columns. That final column is going to go from 900 pixels up to the edge, which is the 1200 pixel value. So 300 pixels wide each one of the columns. To figure out which of the three images I'm using, what I'm doing is I'm taking this image count variable. Starting at 0, I'm incrementing it each time I loop. So for every time I put an image on here, I'm adding one to that value. If you take that and divide it by three, and then you take the remainder of that, that's going to tell you whether you're at position zero, one, two, or three. Round that down, and then that becomes which of the things that you're going to look at inside the array. Is it number zero? Is it number one? Or is it number two? So what's the remainder? Is it zero, one, or two? That's how we choose which of the elements from this global array images. So that's how I know which one of the images I'm going to load and which, which one of the widths or heights I'm going to use. The final step is just the draw image method. We're going to take our image object right here. So this is the image object that we're pulling out of the array. So I'm looking at number zero, one or two from that array. That's image object. I get the actual image itself. This is the source from drawing. And we can see down here, I've got all the parameters listed. So source, and then this is the source X and Y. So that's the starting point. Width and height in the original image. So this defines the rectangle from the original image that we want to get. And then this defines how big and where we want to make the thumbnail. So the last four things, the X and Y coordinates that we calculated right here, 300, 200. They're all going to be the same width and height. In the original image, we're going to go from the top left corner, and then we're going to grab that much of the image. So we've calculated this to make sure that we've got the correct aspect ratio. We're getting the right width and height from the original image, and we're converting that to this size and placing it on the screen. And that's all there is. That's all we're doing. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will leave a copy of this as a code, just put the link in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.